Brian, welcome to Treviso first. Uh, what about your expectation on this first experience outside the NBA basketball? Well, I mean, right now I'm just, we're going to try to get the passport and I'm coming here for the, uh, the, the five weeks to get the passport and then from there we're going to see how it goes. But uh, my expectations are for me to come here, train and you know, continue to play for the team for the whole year. That's what, I think that's why I'm here. I wouldn't have flew across the world to do that. Ma prima di tutto sono venuto qui per le prossime 5 settimane, provare a capire questa realtà, allenarmi con la squadra e poi dare anche una mano. Poi vedremo come si risolverà e se si risolverà positivamente la questione legata all'ottenimento del passaporto italiano. So, uh, let's, let's describe yourself uh, as a player. Many, many people uh, know you as an NBA idol because you are great uh, values as a, as a team player. Well, I think I can do a lot of things. I mean, I was an All-American in college and when I've gotten opportunities to play, I've, I've played well, you know, my winning percentage is one of the highest in the NBA as a starter. But, you know, for me, I think my biggest attribute to, is to make my teammates better. I can find out what this guy needs to do or that guy needs to do. I can change the angle of the screen if a guy's going under. Those are all things I can do to make my teammates better. And I think with that, you know, it'll make me better too. Ma sicuramente sono conosciuto come uomo squadra, anche come un giocatore che ha vinto parecchio con le squadre NBA in cui ha giocato. Ecco, uomo squadra vuol dire cercare sempre di aiutare i miei compagni a dare il massimo, quindi a esprimersi sempre come squadra al massimo, aiutarli in difesa, a rimbalzi, cercando di portare i blocchi giusti, vedere, vedere il gioco e aiutarli in questo senso. Queste sono le mie principali caratteristiche.